Assalamualaikum. Assalam. Good to see you. So you got the hangouts, huh? Yeah, this is my first time hearing of this, and I don't know what the hangout is. Oh, so you've been using Google Duo? Yeah, that's what I've been using. Oh, you're in the hospital? No, I've been I've been working for the past couple of weeks like crazy. Okay, mashallah. Uh, so, so, so I'm just trying to actually clean my apartment. My apartment is so dead, so dirty. A uh, couple of days ago, my unit was on fire, right? Mm -hmm. So we had to actually evacuate like fourth floor, like four floors in the hospital. So we, we've been really been busy for the past couple of days now. So I got one day off. I'm just cleaning today and uh, trying to do dishes, trying to cook some meal. And I'm back at work again tomorrow. Great. So you're doing like what, six days a week, 12 hour shifts? Uh, for the next two weeks, I'm going to be working probably five. All right, what happened? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, maybe I can. All right. Okay, I can hear you. Can You can hear me, right? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. I'm going to turn my video off too so we have better, or I'll just keep it there, I guess, unless it's needed. Okay, so, yeah. so hey, listen, uh, quickly, do you, do you mind if I quickly record this for training purposes? Yeah, you can call me whenever. No, no, I mean, can, can I record the call for training? training that's, that's okay. Okay, thank that's you. That's fine. Tayyip, thank you very much. Okay, bro, I mean, first of all, I really appreciate you. I know it's a super busy week for you, and you're taking time to catch up on this. And as you know, it's super important, yeah. right, to keep our faith recharged, right? That's, that's right. So let's see, like, what's the plan now? I mean, I, I do recall some of the goals that we set last time. Uh, yeah. I don't know, so I'm going to let you uh, mention that. What, what do you think were the goals? The goals are pretty pretty good goals. Like actually, I've been doing the uh, Mukta's uh, way of pronunciation. I've been trying. I keep like whenever I can, I keep doing that. Listen to that. I keep listening more, so okay. I get this in my head more. I think it's gonna be a little bit easier for me to actually do proper pronunciation. Fantastic. So that was like uh, was it like the first two verses, or how 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 much how much recording did he had he given you? So I think Mukta only gave me uh, three words. Three words, right? So have you yeah. have you sent a recording back to him to kind of review that and maybe maybe let's target for the next week you can add a few more words? How, how does that sound? So, so far I think I'm, I'm a little bit slow, to be honest. Okay. I, I've been trying, right? Once I record, because I try, when I pronounce it, I do record myself, right? Okay. Just to see how close I get with Mukta's uh, pronunciation. Right. So I think so far I'm... I must say a little bit progressing, but I think I'm heading in the right direction if I keep doing doing it. Okay, so how so about, what, so are you going to be able to come next Friday? Uh, for the next two weeks, I won't be able to come on Fridays. Okay, how about like a Sunday or a weekend? Sunday, if if I'm not, because uh, we have no units right now, so it's all hands on deck, right? Okay. Uh, so, so that's the only reason why for the next two weeks I'm going to be really, really busy. But I don't mind actually taking a little bit of time doing my phone call just to catch up. Okay, that's fr that's fantastic. Okay, so maybe next weekend we can target to have these three words taken care of if you get some time. If not, yeah. that's fine. Okay. Um, okay. What, so what about the Friday prayer now? So you can't like have that hour off during the uh, Friday afternoon, can you? No, I, I can't. I, I, I try. I was going to come to Zoom in the mass uh, last week Friday. Right. But I couldn't come in last week Friday. Okay. All right. Uh, but then you... But, but what, Sorry, go ahead. But uh, like I believe like two, maybe two or three Juma Namaste ago, like what he actually said, right? At least spend 10 minutes with the Quran, right? Yes, yes. And at least a month, I, I actually took that in. So I'm actually trying to do that more as much as I can. Okay, so you spend time with Quran and then uh, yeah. and then you pray in the hospital, right? The, your five, your, uh, your prayer. Yep, that's, yep. yep, I do pray in the hospital. Okay, fantastic. Any progress with the New Muslim Academy? Uh, with that, I actually, I actually love, I love that, but I'm not really focused on that right now. I'm going by the you know, more like Mukta's prayers and stuff like that. Okay. That's like my number one priority. Yeah, my but short term goals. But but that's more of a technical content, right? I'm, I was just wondering for your yeah. and for your spiritual content. I guess the Quran, Quran is your main source at the moment, right? Yeah, yeah. So oh. I'm doing Quran. I actually listen to Mukta's and trying to get my pronunciation and words going. Okay. No, I mean for for something that kind of tells you and reminds you about who Allah is, 
and and the content around that right the more spiritual content so i'm assuming that when you when you say spending time with quran you mean just the arabic or the actual translation of it i'm doing both okay fantastic from the muslim app. like the daily verses okay and some days if i'm not if i'm actually at work eating i just pull up the muslim muslim pro and just play with it okay fantastic all right, so here's what we're going to do then. I mean, we're going to quickly read one or two verses of Quran together, okay, just okay. to keep that going, and then, then we can wrap up the call. And uh, obviously, okay. we are also doing, you know, the, the we're continuing the class with the brothers, so I'll, I'll post a video recording of that Quran convert class, so you will be able to hopefully see that. Okay. Uh, but I would highly recommend okay. to uh, start thinking about uh, the Friday prayers, right? It is the most important thing, right? At the moment, that's right. That's right. And Allah says in Quran, right, that because this happened at the time of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, peace be upon him, that you know when the time of Friday prayer was happening and the Prophet peace be upon him was giving you know a sermon, uh, what yeah. happened? Uh, a trade caravan came in, right, and uh, some of the companions left the prayer for the for the caravan to do some business, right? I mean to make some profits and what yeah. have you. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions look, that, that Allah is the one who is a provider. So don't think yeah. that, uh, you know, you taking time away from your work or your career or your business will jeopardize your, uh, uh, your, your provisions, right? Your sustenance. Now, many new Muslims, mm -hmm. they don't, they're not able to come to the Friday prayer. But, you know, I consider you with the time and your, your contribution that you are, you know, now at a stronger stage that you can start considering but how you can, you know, have a chat with your supervisor or work that, you know, how, and, and try to have like that two hours away, you know, I, I guess you'd at least need 90 minutes away, right, from in and out, if you, if you will, right? So either you're getting a 90 minute off or you're starting a bit later. So just, just try at least, at the very least that we are thinking about it and we are yeah. trying it so that we just don't drop the ball on this, right? Yeah, I know, because uh, cause the only good thing, most Fridays I'm off anyways. Okay, fantastic. Except for, like, something happens. So most Friday I could actually make it. Okay, that's but great, this, man. Uh, this, most Friday I can actually make Friday in the month, right? Okay. But for the next two, three weeks, then it's all ends on deck, right? So we can actually go back to our unit. Because right now we have no units. We're all over the place with our patient. Okay. Due to the fire at the hospital. Oh, okay, okay. So well, that's, so that's definitely an uh, important cause as well. So, yeah. so you're going to... Okay, fantastic. All right, so... Which verse shall we read? I mean, shall we continue where we, do you know where we stop or do you want to pick something random or what would you like to do? Uh, super. You, I might pick something random. Okay, let's do it. I don't, I... So just let me know what you pick so I can get there too. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to go, I'm going to go back to the Muslim program. Okay. okay. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, okay, so what did you pick? Okay, give it one. Uh, I pick on, on, on the left side, I pick 62. So chapter 62, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, chapter 62. Okay, and verse number is? Um, verse number two. Verse number two, huh? Okay, yeah. fantastic. So, you know what? Interestingly speaking, this was the same chapter I was talking to you about, you know, the Friday prayers. So, if you were to look at the ending of this of this chapter, that is verse number, uh, verse number 8 onwards, yeah. it actually talks about the Friday prayers. But anyways, we'll leave that. We'll go with what you have picked, which is verse number 2. Okay, so do you want to read the translation for me? Okay, it, it, it is who sent among the uh, letters once a messenger. Mohammed, is this, uh, well, Zubair, can you with the uh, S-A-W, what does that actually stand for? You told me, but I remember it's... Uh, sure, sure. So, in English, we call it, peace be upon him. Yeah. Right? And it's, it's a shortcut for an Arabic phrase, which is, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which means okay. that, you know, may Allah increase the status, increase the mention of the Prophet Muhammad. Right, and oh, we, and when we when we do this, we actually honor the prophet, and as a reward, Allah blesses us. So Allah says that when we make this prayer one time for the prophet, Allah gives this to us ten times. So it's a, oh, it's, it's an act of worship. It's a it's a it's an honor for the prophet. It's us praising the prophet, and it's you know it gives us blessings as well. So yeah. 
Okay, yes, yeah, so you continue the translation. Okay, from, from among themselves, reciting to them is, is verse, purifying them from the fields of disbelief and politism, and teaching them the book. This Quran, Islamic laws and Islamic jurisprudence, and how ikmah as sunnah, legal with others, act of worship, etc. of Prophet pro, 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 Muhammad. Peace and blessing be upon him. And verily they had been before in manifest error. Keep going? Yes, yes. Let's do one more verse. And he has sent him, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, also to others among them Muslim, who have not yet joined them, but they will come. And he, Allah, is the Almighty, the All Wise. So, keep going. Ah, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, okay, just let, let's do one more. So we'll have three verses and then we'll stop after three verses. Okay. That is the grace of Allah, which He bestow on whom He will, and Allah is the owner of, of mighty grace. Okay, let's do one more verse because it's a very uh, powerful parable. And then I will okay. share some benefits for you and then uh, we'll just recite it as well. And hopefully you okay. can share some points too. Awesome. The likeness of those who were un entrusted with the obligation of the Torah, the Torah, uh, i.e., to obey its commandment and it, it and to practice its legal laws, but who subsequently fail in those obligations, is as the likeness of a donkey who carries huge burden of books, but understands nothing from them. From them, Abad is the example or the likeness of people who deny the ayat. Proof, evidence, verses, signs, revelation, etc. of Allah. And Allah gu guides not the people who are zalim, zalimum, politics, okay. wrongdoers, disbelievers. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so do you, can you, can you uh, extract any practical gems, any practical action points? So when I talk about action points, what I'm looking for is, you know, is there something that we can learn from this that helps us think better, feel better, and act better? Yeah, I, I can go from the from the the verse three, right? Sure. The Allah sent the prophet Muhammad, right? Mm -hmm. But also to them, he actually sent other prophet too that's going to join them. And Allah is the Almighty, the All Wise. <coughs> right. Okay. Very good. Yeah. So a couple of things. One is it's a favor from Allah that the people that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sent to, in general, they were unlettered, right? They were not a people who used to read and write. But they were communicated yeah. by verbally. So from the favors of Allah is that he sent a messenger among them who can teach them how to worship Allah, how to connect with Allah, and how to realize what this life is really about. So with this, uh, the Prophet ﷺ was cleansing them, right? Because okay. a lot of time we would say that, hey, you know what? I just want to be good. I just want to do good. But what is good? Right? What is good? So Allah is the one who tells us what are the good morals, right? Because otherwise, how do we get the morals, right? This is what Allah has given sure. us and then it gets purified and it grows by the book of Allah, by the guidance of Allah on how do we deal between us and Allah? How do we deal between myself and my family members, between me and my employees and my employers, right? So the Prophet yeah. taught the book, the speech of Allah, and he gave the wisdom. So now this wisdom... Yeah. It encompasses all the things that the Prophet did, what he said, how he clarified, you know, how this verse should be applied. And this is also very important because sometimes you might see a verse in the Quran that talks about offense, law enforcement, you know, what to do when you are at war. But from the Sunnah, the complete life of the Prophet is what we understand is how to apply which verse when and how to do the balance between, you know, time of war and time of peace. When we are living in peace, when we have a contract with people, uh, of peace and treaties, how we live, but if you're in, in, a, in a war, then how do you act? So it's all explained to us. How do we pray? What are the proper etiquettes of praying? So on and so forth. And before this, they did have they have no knowledge of this, right? So Allah yeah. preserving this knowledge is a great favor. Otherwise, we'll be guessing, right? So right now, we sure. have something to go back to that originals. And yeah. then as you mentioned, it. so always keep an eye on whenever Allah tells something about himself. 
So here uh, in the in the third verse, Allah talks about that Allah is Al Aziz and Al Hakim, which means He's the most mighty. That means that nothing can happen except by the will of Allah. So no one can take a dime from you. No one take, can take a single dollar from you unless if Allah allows that to happen. And no one can benefit you or me for even a single dollar unless Allah, Allah allows that to happen. The next attribute of Allah is Al-Hakim, which, which has a you know, couple of different connotations and meanings. From that is that every action of Allah has a wisdom behind it. Yeah. Right. So if Allah says five time praise, it has a wisdom. If Allah says to not eat pork or to not have alcohol or to face Mecca, it's not random orders. It has a wisdom behind it. And also, if something happens to me, right, you know, car breaking down, somebody going through a divorce, a child loss or a, or a relative loss, it has a wisdom behind it. And one should not think that my life going forward is, you know, uh, going go down, but it's actually going upward. Always have good thoughts about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So you might see a lot of patients, you know, going through a lot of difficulties. So if they had Islam, if they could understand and appreciate who Allah is, they may not be sitting there on their deathbed and thinking that, oh, look at what's happening to me. You know, I'm being injected by Isa. He's injecting me. He's withdrawing my blood and all that stuff. And he's treating me. I'm coughing, this and that. I have a lot of pain. But when you have Allah in your life, you see this all in a bigger picture that this is raising my status in front of Allah and what I have to come come forward in my life of good health and if I don't get good health and if I die and I meet Allah then what's going to come to me because if I'm believing and I'm submitting to Allah is much better than my current life and also bro I mean with your with your work even you can have this intention of uh, being kind to the creation of Allah and bringing them comfort so you are actually rewarded double for your work yeah. one reward is for you to make money which is also a reward because you're making money so that you don't have to beg people. And the second reward yeah. is basically you're making, you're doing a good, noble cause of bringing comfort to people who are sick and in pain. And after that, uh, the verse number four is very important. Look, this is from the favors of Allah. And he gives this to whoever he likes. And this is very important, right? Because sometimes you may see yeah. someone and we, we get jealous. Hey, look. You know, he's the same color as me, same age, same background, same education. How come he has more and I have less? Right? So it's always important to understand that whoever people have is from the favor of Allah. Because two people can be, can be at the same level of intellect, same level of smartness, but have different results in life. So it's not only because of who you are, but also where Allah puts you in life. You know how they say, being at the right time, at the right place, knowing the right person. Because this also helps, right? The opportunities that Allah gave us and all these different things. So the favor of Allah is super important. And then what it says at the end, that Allah is the owner of great uh, fadl, great bounty. So this kind of encourages us to never lose hope and always be asking Allah to help us, to increase us in our blessings, to increase us in, in what we have and to make us thankful to Allah. And finally, Allah gives a parable of people who were given the book of Allah, the first commandment, or the, the first test, uh, subhanAllah, what is it called? The first test? Uh, uh, is, it, is it Torah? Torah, yeah. What's the other word for that? Uh, the Old Testament, right? Yeah. So the people who are given the knowledge but they don't act upon it is kind of like the same thing as a donkey carrying a lot of books, right? He doesn't realize sure. the value of what he is carrying. So that actual value comes when people understand what has been given to them and they actually implement this in their lives, okay? So yeah. may Allah protect us from this thing. And Allah says finally that Allah does not give the guidance to people who are wrongdoers. So people who are oppressing others or people who do not want to accept the guidance, and do not want to try to accept the guidance, they have no sincerity, they are the ones who will not be uh, guided. So I'm going to read the, recite this in Arabic, inshallah, so we have that original as well, and then we'll conclude. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Huwa alladhi ba'atha fil ummiyyina rasoolam Minhum yatlu alayhim ayatihi wa yuzakkihim Wa yuallimuhum alkitab wal hikmah وَالْحِكْمَةَ وَإِنْ كَانُوا مِنْ قَبْلُ لَفِي ضَلَالٍ مُبِينٍ وَآخَرِينَ مِنْهُمْ لَمَّا يَلْحَقُوا بِهِمْ 
وهو العزيز الحكيم ذلك فضل الله يؤتيه من يشاء والله ذو الفضل العظيم مثل الذين حملوا التوراة ثم لم يحملوها كمثل الحمار يحمل أسفارا بئس مثل القوم الذين كذبوا بآيات الله والله لا يهدي القوم الظالمين طيب جزاك الله خير من it was very refreshing for me to kind of review that and understand who Allah is may Allah uh, reward you for your time and don't think that this time is gone it's gonna it's gonna put blessings in your life and help you with whatever you were doing for the rest of the day okay uh, I mean thanks thanks right. a lot take care man so I'll speak to you next week if not earlier take care assalamu alaikum okay alaikum salam